Hello folks. I'm doing a little unboxing here. <laughs> it's nothing nothing fancy. Uh, but the uh, the title of the video is uh, Never Put Your Heart in a Box. And uh, I'm going to show you why. <laughs> All right, this is a five frame uh, deep nook, nook box. Uh, here's the sideboards. Here are your front and back boards. Got the yellow one. Hand, hand handles there. Uh, can't even throw. There's the book the uh, Bottom board, here's some nails. I don't use them. It's too much work. And here's the uh, migratory top cover. Okay, now uh, let's talk about uh, putting your heart in a box. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the heart of the board. If you can see or not, you can see the uh, the grains of the wood there and this would be the heart side because uh, rings, the rings grow around the, the heart of the tree and you can see uh, which way they're oriented. <clears throat> if you put this uh, this side to the inside of your box as these as this board dries out these uh, these grains here are going to want to uh, to pull away Pull away from your sideboard or inboard, whatever board you're uh, putting these against. Now, the ones that have the hand holds in them already pre cut, there's really nothing you can do about that. And uh, it looks like this one may be right. You can see or not. You can see the, uh, the grains going this way. If you're building your own uh, wood and everything, this one, uh, I think it's right also. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. So uh, we're going to put this one together and we're going to make sure we don't put our heart in the box. So this will go to the outside. You can see the, the grains here. Put those to the outside just like that. And then as these dry out, it'll put more pressure in to the uh, to the side of your joint there. All right. Well, I don't have a fancy jig to hold these, so uh, it is what it is. Make sure you get the, uh, the right side matching the other side. You don't want one hand on facing the other direction. You can tell that pretty easy by the, the top groove. Remember folks, don't put your heart in your box. Do another little uh, deal over here, but I'm not going to do any more like this. Just fact uh, I made a, uh, a double mating nook out of a five frame nook and uh, I ran a, a dado cut on each uh, inboard here so this would uh, slide down in here and this is some 7 16th uh, OSB and let's see what it did there and I just notched out for the, for the frame rests Oh, there's a shadow in there, but uh, doing it this way, doing that dado cut with this uh, hand grip here, I knew this wood was going to be really thin in this area. You can see uh, there's a hole there now, but uh, I'll just leave this one as a as a mating nook. And if if for some reason I have to use it in an emergency as a five frame nook, I can slide this board out. It's in there pretty tight right now. I can slide this out and uh, put some tape or something over that, that gap there. 
it's no big deal for now. And I did notch out the end down here for the uh, bottom board. Since I did run that dado on the end pieces, that uh, piece right there will hit the bottom board if, uh, if you don't notch that out. And it's kind of critical that you butt that up against there, the way that's designed like that. But, uh, and I'll make some, uh, some little short reducers here and block one side and I'll face an entrance on, on each uh, end of it. That way the one side will, will come and go on this side. The other side will come and go on the opposite end. I'm, uh, I'm trying to think of a way where I won't uh, get that, that notch in there. On the, on the end pieces. And still uh, still have this stabilized where this, uh, this will not flop around inside. Now I could put some little strips on the bottom here to, to hold that. Because you don't want your bees to go to the other side and kill your other queen. I don't know, we'll, we'll think of something. Right now this isn't really a high priority on my list. I may do something similar to a uh, queen castle and I'll, uh, I'll try to dig it out here uh, on another day. And, uh, you'd have two frames on each side to, uh, to have your queen go out and get mated and uh, get you a mated queen without dedicating the whole five frame nook to, to one queen. You can do these, uh, these little mating nooks this way. If you have multiple queen cells in one of your hives, uh, you, can, you can utilize all those queen cells uh, with, with less resources and you know, out of your, your main hive and uh, get a mated queen back, hopefully. At least you'll have uh, more chances of that. So uh, I'll let y'all go and we'll catch y'all later. Got another little tip for y'all. If, uh, if you buy your wood glue in uh, bulk containers and you don't have a, a smaller container to uh, dispense that with, uh, these, these things here make uh, pretty good uh, reusable containers. You can uh, put your glue in there and you have your, your, little, uh, your little spout here you can uh, dispense it with. Anyway, <laughs> catch y'all later.